Joining me now is Frank Spano, the executive director of the Counterterrorism Institute. First of all, thank you for being here. Thank you, Courtney. We want to make this clear. At this point, we don't know whether this is ISIS that's behind this, but ISIS has previously talked about this sort of a truck plot. That's correct. ISIS does advocate in a number of their publications the use of sort of unconventional or, in this case, easy to obtain with high likelihood of high fatalities type weapon systems. Uh, and this is something, again, that's fairly, I don't want to say easy, but not very well thought out. This is just a, a typical truck. Exactly. It speaks to the idea that where there's a will, there's a weapon, whether it's a truck. And we, we don't know at this time whether or not there were explosives meant to detonate within that truck. But even something as simple as just a truck can be just as devastating as a rifle or uh, an explosive. Absolutely. Also, let's talk about the location here. Nice, France, not necessarily a location that we would have anticipated something like this uh, to happen. However, ISIS is really kind of branching out. Talk a little about that. Absolutely. This shows that it's not only an ideological attack, it being Bastille Day, but also that ISIS is coming under increasing pressure in their home territory and are beginning to branch out more fervently into the European theater and into the United States. Okay, why do you think that is? Well, they've had concerted attacks against them, primarily from the Russians, though American forces are involved. Uh, and they may, at this point, see that the caliphate, or the idea of a caliphate, it's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so they're shifting their gears to advance their ideological position in other ways. And let's talk about, ultimately, do you think there's a cure? These attacks, that keep happening. Uh, is there a cure? And if so, what, what do you think it might be? Well, if we look at symptoms and diseases, firearms, trucks, explosives, those are symptoms. The disease is this radical ideology. So at the Counterterrorism Institute, we advocate a two-part approach. Mm -hmm. First, direct action, kill or capture terrorists, do bad things to bad people. But that on its own will not stop the problem. We have to focus on filling the voids and vacuums in society where this violent ideology can grow and thrive. Whether that's theocratic governments, lack of education, limited opportunity, that's where the longest uh, positive impact will definitely take place. Okay, well said. Thank you so much, Frank Spano, for joining us. Thank you, Gordon.